TF2 almost had its own SFM series to be aired on live television, and there's a lot of mystery to why that never happened. Lots of speculation whether it was the lack of animators, maybe Valve backed out midway like they do with a lot of their projects, or lack of funding. Hi guys, what's up? It is Orange Glazer, and I'm telling you how TF2 almost had their own TV show. So a lot of sources I'm going to bring up are taken from Valve News Network, Reddit, and research that I've done myself to find all these answers for. A lot of this stuff has been done on the Wayback Machine because these sites are no longer accessible. So if you're curious about some of the topics that I bring up, then you should look down in the description below and I'll have all my sources down there. So let's give some context onto where all this began. Adult Swim is a network that plays after 10pm on the Cartoon Network channel and they would soon interact with the Team Fortress 2 franchise over the years to come. This can date back to whenever they partnered up in Poker Night at the Inventory, and both characters from different TV shows in Adult Swim and characters from Team Fortress 2 can be seen within the same game. Now, around 2010, which was the year that the game released, According to Valve News Network, this is the same area where writers from Team Fortress 2 were planning to write their own series. So what this means is that Valve may have planned to work with Adult Swim a long time ago, but eventually, in 2012, June 2nd, one of the Adult Swim shows named The Venture Brothers partnered up with the Team Fortress 2 team, and they actually aired a promo, a commercial which I didn't even know existed until I actually started researching this topic. I'll show you guys the clip. It's a pretty small clip, and ends pretty fast, but that was just enough for Team Fortress 2 to make a blog post about it. And because of that, a visible partnership between Valve's Team Fortress 2 and Adult Swim was starting to appear. Because on June 3rd, a blog post was made about their promotion, and not only that, but three hats were released that were made after the characters from the Venture Brothers, so there was clearly a connection going on between them. It is then hinted around this time that Team Fortress 2 started to take their television series plan into full effect. They started hiring voice actors, such as Ashley Birch. This person would then become one of the voice actors in the expiration date, Miss Pauling, and help write part of the film. And this would last from July 2012 to January 2013. But before that ended, June 25th would also roll by. Adult Swim also made a blog post. They started promoting Team Fortress 2, so I guess this was their end of the bargain. They really wanted you to sign up. Why? Well, not only would you receive notifications for their newsletter, but it was kind of a secret until June 28th whenever they released their genuine robot chicken hat inside of Team Fortress 2. Now, if you're living in 2020 like me and many others, then you might wonder, well, can I still get this hat? Yeah, um, don't worry, you didn't really mess out. It's about 30 cents on the Steam community market, so it's not really like you lost any profit from not being there at the right time. And just a day after the Robot Chicken Hat releases, they make another blog post on the Adult Swim website saying how you can still get the post, and honestly, nobody looks better in a chicken pose than Pyro. They should really add a taunt like that or something to the game like <laughs> Pyro Chicken Tea of Two. Am I right? Now the cool thing with TF2 is that the people they've partnered with also presented TF2 within their shows. For example, Robot Chicken had their own Team Fortress 2 segment within the show. Along with Robot Chicken, the Venture Brothers also had a little segment of TF2 in their show. Not in a huge way like Robot Chicken did where it probably required a lot of work with claymation, but it was just a small segment within the show where they show a little gameplay. So you might be wondering, well, all this was in 2012 and 2013, why did it take so long for the expiration date SFM to release? According to Valve News Network as well, the thing is is that Valve would not hold up their end of the bargain. Apparently Valve wanted to release a 20 minute short film, and to any other fan of Team Fortress 2, that sounds absolutely amazing. But here's the problem, Adult Swim wanted 15 minutes of Team Fortress 2 to play on their network. 11 of those minutes would actually be the Team Fortress 2 film, and the other 4 minutes would be the advertisements that would take place in between the breaks of the show. Now if you hadn't realized, the expiration date 
is not just 11 minutes, nor is it 20 minutes, it's pretty much a solid 15 minutes. And if you can't exactly tell by now, Valve basically just did a big fuck you to like, Adult Swim. And because they wanted to do what they want, Adult Swim backed out of their deal with the Team Fortress 2 team. And it was until March 31st of 2019 where the Valve promo site would finally go to Error 404. Nothing would show up ever again. So it's easy to guess that it was official, that Valve would no longer be working with Adult Swim, and there would be no more future SFMs for Adult Swim, until further notice. So even though expiration date is 15 minutes, it was said that this film was supposed to be 20 minutes. Where did the other 5 minutes go? Well, Valve News Network brings up a topic of a missing scene, the heavy and strawberry scene. Not much is known about this scene, I assume it's part of the date exercises that Spy gives to Scout whenever Scout asks Spy for help. And I've been doing research into this topic and I found a Reddit blog post with leaks before expiration date even came out. This leak contains actual pictures of textures that were used or altered before the film's final release. And you can even see strawberry textures to confirm it. And it's a whole bunch of other textures that I think it's pretty funny. Many which you don't see, some are blurred and are hard to see. And it just really goes to show like how much Valve can put on the table and some of it we never get to see. So yeah, it's a real shame that Valve couldn't hold up their end of the bargain, but honestly, even if they can't partner up with Adult Swim, I would still love to see these 20 minute short films, and with the way I see it, they could probably just keep doing them for future updates, or just try again in the future. And with the amount of talented animators out there, I'm really sure that a 6 digit Valve income would help a lot with 12 episodes a year. I really hope that we get to see more SFMs from them in the future. Expiration Date and Jungle Inferno were fantastic masterpieces, along with all the Meet the Team short films. They hold so many memories and they've basically held my channel up at the roots. So thank you guys for watching this informational video. If you like this video, click like. If you want to see more of this content, subscribe because I'm going to keep doing more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.